just wanted to show you guys what the future of uh, operating rooms is going to be. It's, uh, it's an interesting piece of technology. We're getting rid of a lot of the rubbish that uh, manufacturers are installing. We're kind of stepping it up. We're using Ethernet instead of fiber optics and instead of proprietary systems. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we're doing. So. All right, here we go. So the way this starts is we have a monitor on a boom here, and we have a monitor on a boom over there. We have a large monitor on the wall, and you can see we have a camera up there, and we actually have a camera right here instead of inside this light head. You can see I'm on camera right there. So that's a camera too. What we had is in this cabinet um, that's over in the corner, we had a huge audio and video system. It costs over $100,000. This one here was installed in 2011, and the problem is, is uh, you can see up here, I've got a speaker, speaker. I lost room audio, uh, so the surgeons couldn't listen to their, their music, which is a, a tragedy. It, it really is, trust me, the world stops. And uh, I had no switching video on this one, no switching video on this one, and I, at the very end, lost video on the big monitor. Because I lost all my video switching, I didn't have audio anymore, and replacement parts were probably going to be about twenty to thirty thousand dollars if I repaired the old video rack. We decided to go with our own system. I designed this system from scratch with the components that I was able to purchase off eBay, and uh, some of it was out of my own pocket just to prove the concept. Uh, so here I'll show you guys what used to be in this cabinet. So this was absolutely a cluster uh, when I started. There was a giant bundle that came out and it wrapped around underneath the cabinet. I'd say probably about 200 cords came out of there. Uh, different video feeds, audio feeds, and stuff like that. And you can see right now it needs to be straightened up. That's because we're still making sure that this room is completely functional before I go in and zip tie the, the cords all up and tuck them in their hole where they should be. So right now, you can see that we have these positioning gels and some foam and stuff. I'm going to put a rack in there, and that's where they're going to organize all their positioning gels and keep them, you know, keep them dust free and out of sight where, it, you know, they're ugly. I mean, they were throwing them all up and around my old video equipment on this cabinet. It was just pissing me off. And uh, this is a common problem we have in all sorts of rooms. But just to show you, I went from this and two shelves full of equipment to just the shelf. And you can see right here, I have an HDMI matrix, which just basically is a large video switch. It allows me to select, you know, I can either use the buttons, or I have a touch screen mounted on the wall right over there. You can see it switching right now. The touch screen, I'll get to that later. Uh, that's, that's a whole nother thing. Got that off eBay, got that off Craigslist, the, the router right there. Got this off Amazon and each one of those guys off Amazon. Total project cost is under $3,000 so far. And uh, I think we got this pretty well nipped in the bud. This room's fully functional. It's actually very simple. So what happens is this guy here has got the touch panel file on it. So the touch screen that's over there, it comes in to the router. It's just a Lenovo ThinkPad. It talks to the router. This is on the same network as the router. And uh, the ThinkPad, the Lenovo tablet, it will pull the touch panel file every time it logs in. So if I make an update, I just connect my PC to it, change the way the buttons look, maybe where they go. And then next time I log in with the tablet, it pulls the, the touch panel file every single time. It's perfect. So these ones right here are just video extenders. They're HDMI extenders. So all they do is they take an incoming or outgoing video signal and it goes into Ethernet, which is right here. Ethernet. So let's see, up and under here, there was probably a couple thousand dollars worth of uh, video switching equipment and stuff up under this computer. There's a bunch of garbage, and the uh, problem is, is when it breaks, during a case, you have to troubleshoot that, and it's a pain in the ass. 
So my system is super simple. You have lights, you have video, it's good. So, so this is the Lenovo tablet. And uh, this touch panel file right here, all the buttons and everything, this is, it pulls it every time I log in. But this tablet stays on 24 seven. It's constant. Um, I wrote the touch panel file and I can customize it per the room and select where the buttons go. So you can see here, I've got the nurse's computer, which is this one right here. I've got the doctor's computer, which is actually the PC that's right there. And I've got the four in one input. Now the four in one's kind of a cool little device. I'll show you where it's at. The four in one takes all these different video feeds and it combines them into one video feed, which you can see right there. It, it takes them and it upscales them to high definition and then it goes over to the rack where I can switch it between monitors. So I can hook up microscopes, I can hook up neuro tracking systems, I can hook up all sorts of stuff to this guy and it scales it up to high definition, goes over to the rack where I tell it where to go. So that's called a four in one input. These are normally $1,600. I bought four of them today for $80 each off eBay. Gotta love eBay, man. So you can see, uh, I've got an extender down there, an extender right there, and that's all it does. It takes the video out of the back of a device, converts it to ethernet, and goes to my switch. There's no need to be complex, man. So this will all get tidied up. A lot of these plates will get flat blocking plates because we don't need any of those inputs anymore. Because I've got that guy. It does. Uh, let's do the doctor's PC. So for the doctor's PC, I just touch them off. Let's see, and that would be a doctor's PC over there. You can see it switching, switching, switching. So it works perfectly. I can come back over here, choose vitals, because the doctors want to see how their patients are doing when they're cutting on them. Sometimes their heart rate will go up when uh, their blood pressure decreases, etc. So, touch the vitals. And let's see what's going on. So here you can see the patient's vital signs monitor. Yeah, it's on all displays. And that video signal comes from right here on this guy. So the docs want to be able to see that on these two monitors over here in light camera. Everybody loves this one. Okay, the in light camera is that guy right there that I mentioned once before. And what the in light camera does is while the doctors are sitting here working, uh, the, the staff that's here, here, and here, and sometimes back here in the room, they, you know, you don't want them all leaning in over the patient seeing what the doc is doing. So what they'll do is they'll put it up on the inlet camera, especially back here, so that everybody can stay coordinated. The doc doesn't have to give commands like a, like a captain of a ship. Everybody can see where he's at and then they will make adjustments accordingly. I just reprogrammed this thing. So I just wanted to show it off. This will probably be uh, the last time I touch this in months for all I care. Um, and then the last thing is the Carl Stortz camera, which is endoscopy. It's that little camera box right there. And that allows them, you know, they use uh, scopes and they see what's going on inside the body. That way they don't have to make large incisions to do their surgeries. Endoscopy is amazing. Last thing is power off. As soon as I click power off, the system goes into a standby. And if the monitors don't get a video signal, which you can see right there down in the corner, they're looking. If it doesn't have a video signal, the monitor goes into a sleep mode and the room is powered down. We're good.